how's it going? Just yet to remind you to click the like button, subscribe yet to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside in our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. Dragon Ball, the Divine Summoning Saga, Goku and the New Threat. In a surprising twist, a new Dragon Ball saga begins when Beerus, the god of destruction, summons Goku to deal with a threat that threatens the balance of the multiverse. In this video, we will explore how this divine summoning leads to an exciting narrative and challenges Goku's abilities. Chapter 1. Beerus's Call The saga begins when Beerus senses a disturbing presence in the multiverse. Unable to deal with the threat on his own, he summons Goku, recognizing the Saiyan's ability to face powerful opponents. Goku accepts the call, eager for a new challenge. The revelation of the threat. Beerus and Goku investigate together and discover that an ancient and malevolent race of cosmic warriors known as the Nihilorians are planning a full-scale invasion. They intend to use advanced technology to plunge the multiverse into chaos. The Divine Covenant. With the threat of the Nihilorians becoming increasingly evident, Beerus and Goku join forces with other Gods of Destruction and Z-Fighters to form a Divine Alliance. The mission is to stop the Nihilorians before their evil plan becomes a friction. Epic Cosmic Battles The Alliance faces epic cosmic battles against the Nihilorians in different universes. The Z-Fighters face technologically advanced enemies and ruthless warriors. Goku and his quest to overcome unlocks new transformation and powers. The fight for the survival of the multiverse as the battle intensifies, Goku and his allies realize that they are fighting not only for the survival of the universes, but also for the balance of the multiverse. The threat of the Nihilorius becomes a testament for the protagonist's resilience and determination. The Final Twist The Divine Summoning Saga culminates in a surprising twist when Goku, Beerus, and their allies face the leader of the Nihilorians in an ultimate battle. The true nature of the threat and its ultimate motivations are revealed. Dragon Ball the Divine Summoning Saga The Reveal of Beerus' Old Rival The Divine Summoning Saga continues to unfold with an unexpected twist. Goku questions the identity of the threat that the Nihilorians have in their employ. In a conversation with Beerus, the God of Destruction reveals that the threat is the only Saiyan who has ever able to defeat him in the past. The Enemy's Enigma During a break in the battles against the Nihilorians, Goku turns to Beerus and questions the identity of the leader of the threat. He is determined to understand who is the enemy that managed to mobilize a race so advanced in technology and destruction. Beerus' response. Beerus, a serious look, reveals that the leader of the Nihilorians is a Saiyan from the past. A fierce warrior who one day defeated him in an epic fight. He explains that during his reign as God of Destruction, he faced many challenges. But this Saiyan in particular was the only one who defeated him. The Rise of the Saiyan. Beerus continues to tell the story of the Saiyan who one day managed to defeat him. It describes how this warrior, after his victory over Beerus, embarked on a quest for power that led him to discover the Nihilorians and their advanced technology. The quest for revenge. Beerus concludes that his former rival, fueled with his desire for revenge after his defeat by the God of Destruction, has joined forces with the Nihilorians to plan the destruction of the multiverse. Goku and his allies now face an opponent who is determined to take revenge at any cost. Interdimensional Conflict The revelation about Beerus' old rival intensifies the battle against the Nihilorians, creating an interdimensional conflict with significant complications. Goku, motivated by his desire to overcome challenges and protect the multiverse, faces his enemy with determination. This twist triggers a cosmic battle that transcends expectations, as Goku and his allies face an adversary that threatens the balance of the multiverse. With this addition in the plot, Dragon Ball continues to captivate its fans with exciting twists and unforgettable characters. Dragon Ball The Divine Summoning Saga the return of Yamushi, the corrupted Saiyan God. The narrative of the Divine Summoning Saga reaches a crucial point when Beerus reveals that the former Saiyan God, Yamushi, is back. However, his spirit seems to be corrupted and evil. This twist redefines the nature of the threat and creates even greater challenges for Goku and his allies. The Legend of Yamushi Beerus begins to reveal the story of Yamushi, the legendary Saiyan who, in ancient times, was the first to achieve the status of Saiyan God. Yamushi is known for his bravery and desire for justice, but his untimely death led to the creation of the Legend of the Saiyan God. The Unexpected Return Beerus explains that, although Yamushi was defeated eons ago, 
and Spirit appears to have found a way to return to the multiverse. However, something terrible happened during his absence, corrupting his spirit and transforming it into a threat to the cosmic balance. Yamoshi's new nature Yamoshi, now corrupted and evil, is using his former ability as a Saiyan god to lead the Nihilorians in their quest to destroy the multiverse. His transformation shocks both the gods of destruction and the Z Fighters. The fight for redemption. The revelation of Yamoshi's corrupted return adds a layer of complexity to the narrative. Goku, in his quest for overcoming injustice, faces a moral dilemma as he wants to help Yamoshi find redemption, despite facing the threats he represents. The Epic Showdown The Divine Summoning Saga culminates in an epic showdown between Goku and Yamoshi. Fighting is not just a physical battle, but a test of morale and determination. Goku seeks to reverse the corruption affecting Yamoshi and bring back the legendary Saiyan who once fought for justice. With this twist, Dragon Ball continues to delight its fans with innovative storytelling and exciting challenges. Goku is facing an old rival who is now on the dark side. He's forced to confront his own ideals and seek a solution that can save the multiverse from destruction. Dragon Ball The Divine Summoning Saga Goku and Yamoshi The Epic Encounter The narrative of the Divine Summoning Saga reaches a crucial point when Goku comes face to face with Yamoshi, the corrupted Saiyan God for the first time. This encounter promises to be one of the most epic moments in Dragon Ball history as two legendary Saiyans clash. The Showdown Point Goku and Yamoshi meet on an interdimensional battlefield, chosen as the location for the confrontation. The setting is grand, surrounded by an aura of tension and power. Their determined looks reflect the gravity of the tournament. Tense dialogue. The meeting begins with a tense dialogue in which Goku tries to understand the reasons behind Yamoshi's corruption. Yamoshi, in turn, reveals his bitterness and resentment, as well as his thirst for power and revenge. The beginning of the battle. The conversation gives way to an intense battle between the two Saiyans. Yamoshi demonstrates Saiyan God abilities that rival Goku's, and the two Saiyans trade powerful blows, creating shocks that reverberate through space and time. Goku's Transformation As the battle progresses, Goku is driven by his determination and desire to help Yamoshi find redemption. He unlocks new transformation and powers, including a form that combines elements of Ultra Instinct with Super Saiyan. The Fight for Yamoshi's Soul The battle is not just physical, but a fight for Yamoshi's soul. Goku seeks to touch the good and righteous part that resides in the ancient Saiyan God's heart. While Yamoshi fights to resist the corruption that consumes him, the meeting between Goku and Yamoshi culminates in an epic twist. As the battle reaches its peak, something within Yamoshi seems to awaken, challenging the corruption that has trapped him. He faces a moral dilemma as Goku continues to push for redemption. The most memorable moments in Dragon Ball history are this. The battle is not just physical, but a fight for the soul and morality of Yamoshi, the ancient Saiyan god. As the saga unfolds, Dragon Ball fans are treated to an emotional epic filled with twists and moral challenges as Goku seeks to uncover the corruption plaguing his former rival. The Divine Successor The conversation between Daishikan and Zenosama After the tensions and challenges that the multiverse faced, Daishikan, the Grand Priest, was worried about the future and the need to find a successor to his position. He saw potential in Goku, who had proven himself to be an exceptional warrior and shown a commitment to protecting the multiverse. Daishikan decided it was time to discuss this issue with Zenosama, the king of everything, the supreme entity that ruled over all universes. Zenosama, my lord, I would like to speak about the future of the position of Grand Priest. I believe it is time to consider. A successor. Zenosama looked at Daishikan curiously. A successor? Do you have someone in mind? Yes, my lord. I have been observing Goku in his actions. He is an incredible warrior and has a deep commitment to protecting the multiverse. I believe he may be the ideal candidate. Zenosama pondered Daishikan's suggestion, reflecting on the matter. You mean my friend Goku, the Saiyan? He is an impressive fighter. But... Are you sure he's prepared for such an important position? He may need training and guidance, but I see in him the necessary strength and determination. In time, he could become a worthy high priest. Very well, Daishikan. 
Let us begin the process of training and mentoring Goku so that he can become the next Grand Priest. The future of the multiverse is at stake. Daishikan thanked Zeno-sama for his decision and left to communicate the news to Goku. Goku's journey towards the position of Grand Priest was about to begin. And the multiverse looked with hope to what the future held. The uncertain future. Daishikan and Whis' conversation. Daishikan was determined to communicate his decision to Goku and begin the training process to prepare him as his successor. He chose to use telepathy to talk to Whis, the angel who served Beerus in Universe 7. Whis, I need to talk to you about an important decision I made. Of course, father. What is happening? I've decided that Goku has the potential to become the next High Priest. Oh. I need to begin the training and mentoring process to prepare him. Goku? Hmm. That is impressive, actually. He is an impressive fighter. But this is kind of a bold decision. <laughs> I have confidence in his abilities and determination. I believe that with adequate training, he will be able to perform this world with excellence. Hmm. hmm. I see. I will do my best to support this decision and help with Goku's training as well. However, the news quickly spread across the universe, and Beerus heard of Daishikan's choice. What? Goku is the next High Priest! That is insane! Beerus, uh, my lord, trust Daishikan's wisdom. He must have his reasons for making this choice, you know, uh, since Goku is undoubtedly really... An impressive warrior. But I cannot believe he made this decision. Please, this is insane. Goku doesn't even have the strength of a god of destruction, let alone to be a high priest. My lord, Naishikon's choice may seem a bit surprising. It was surprising to me too. But he must see something in Goku that makes him suited for the role. Perhaps it's his commitment to protecting the multiverse and his ability to overcome impossible challenges. But he doesn't even know the rules and responsibilities of a high priest, Whis. That's too risky. Naishikan, my father, will likely train him in all aspects of the role. And remember, even gods needs to learn and grow. Perhaps this will be an opportunity for Goku to evolve even further. I am still not convinced, but... <sighs> Very well, let's see how this plays out. But if Goku isn't up to the task, we'll be facing a serious problem. A certainty loomed over the future, with Goku beginning his training to become the next Grand Priest. The multiverse was constantly changing, and Daishikan's choice was destined to trigger a series of events that would challenge the cosmic balance. Everyone watched carefully, eager to see how Goku would do his new world and what the impact of his journey would be on the universe. The calm of Whis. Confidence in Goku's potential. Whis, Beerus' faithful angel, noted his god of destruction's concern with Goku's selection as the next god high priest. He knew the situation was unusual, but he maintained his confidence in Goku's potential. Whis chuckled lightly, eliciting a surprised reaction from Beerus. <laughs> What's so funny, Whis? Don't you think this is risky? Oh, Lord Beerus, are you still worried? You forget that Goku is incredibly skilled at pushing limits. He always surprises us all. Beerus looked at Whis skeptically, but Whis continued explaining. Goku will undergo rigorous training with Daishikan to learn all the rules and responsibilities of a Grand Priest. He's a quick learner, and I'm sure he will adapt. Still, this idea of, of Goku as a high priest, that's... Ugh, that's so weird! Change can be scary, my lord. But the multiverse is always evolving. Always. Goku has faced countless threats and challenges, and this is just another step on his journey. Be patient, my friend. Goku may surprise us all once again. <laughs> <sighs> I hope you're right, Whis. The Cosmic Call. Goku towards Xenosama's palace. Whis, Beerus' angel trainer, 
was determined to begin the process of preparing Goku as the next Grand Priest. To do so, he headed to Earth in search of the legendary Saiyan warrior. We suddenly appeared in front of Goku while he was training in the county yard of his house. <laughs> what? Wait, what are you doing here? Ow! You actually hit me. Oh, that is surprising. Um, <clears throat> Goku, Lord Goku, if I, if I may say, it's time to leave for a special place. We're going to Zerosama's palace. Wait, the palace of Denchon? What are we going to do there? I know this is going to be a little unusual of me to say to you, Lord Goku. Why are you calling me Lord Goku? Mm, uh, you have been chosen by Daishikun to be his successor. What? But before that, you will need to undergo rigorous training and learn all the responsibilities of a Grand Priest. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let's go, Whis. Of course. I'm ready for whatever comes. Goku, although a little surprised, accepted the challenge with enthusiasm. We smiled, knowing that Goku was the perfect apprentice for this journey. Good, Goku. I mean, Lord Goku. Get ready. Let's use the instant teleportation technique to reach Zenosama's palace. The two disappeared in a blink of an eye, and in an instant, they were in front of the magic palace of Zenosama, the abode of the supreme deity of the multiverse. The future was filled with challenges and opportunities for Goku as he embarked on his journey to become the next Grand Priest. The multiverse watched expectantly as events unfolded and Goku's transformation was about to begin. To be continued. So hey my partner, what do you believe in and what do you imagine about all of this? Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, and then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.